Well, visiting a secluded tropical island is most people's idea of the perfect holiday. But what happens when a pristine paradise is taken over by a beer company? Forex Island opens tomorrow, and Seven Local News was given special access to see what's brewing. Pumpkin Island has been transformed into the ultimate beer garden. The new beach bar greets guests, and it's no surprise what's on tap. We put it out to our drinkers to say, guys, you know, we've got this amazing island on the southern Great Barrier Reef. Um, now we want your ideas in terms of how we design and build it. This is the end result. Where would you rather be? <laughs> It'll yeah, be a, uh, probably a good spot for the uh, rugby league players to have their uh, man, man, mad Monday. And the, and the rugby union boys yeah. as well. A marketing agency dreamed up the idea two years ago. Most of the existing buildings were refurbished. New additions include the loo with a view, the men's shed and the one-hole golf course. 24 guests can stay at a time. Around 3,000 will visit over the three-year lease. And despite rumours, women are also welcome. They'll be looked after by a beer ambassador. I think the hardest part about uh, being an ambassador for for uh, Forex Island would have to be uh, drinking the beer. It's been one of the most expensive campaigns in Australian marketing history, but tourism leaders say the promotion of Queensland has been priceless. This is a promotion that money just can't buy. It's uh, not just national promotion, but it's international. The island's powered by solar panels and wind. Any waste has been removed back to the mainland and disposed of appropriately. The company also insists drinkers will be kept safe from the island dangers. We have um, safety and OHS plans and policies in place, which will ensure all of our guests adhere to. The first round of competition winners arrive tomorrow to enjoy the laid-back luxury. Eamon Atkinson, 7 News.